Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, thank you for stopping by my video today. I am so excited to bring you guys lots of motivation today. The day I'm uploading this is a Sunday, so I hope that you guys have your to-do list. I'm gonna be cleaning, going shopping for some outdoor home decor, and then decorating the front porch. So if you enjoy these kinds of get it all done style videos, give it a thumbs up so I know to make more of them. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you, and let's go ahead and get right into it. So one of my favorite fall cleaning checklist items that I like to do every fall or winter is to clean out my oven. And the reason why I like to do this when the weather gets cooler outside is because cleaning an oven is incredibly smelly. So I open up several of the windows in my house and I usually light a candle too. I'm starting out by using the like spray on oven cleaner. And this is great for spot treating too. I probably honestly wouldn't have to do so much scrubbing if I clean my oven more frequently, but to be honest, I just really don't. It's something that gets forgotten. And after I do this with the like spray on kind, I'm gonna run my regular oven cleaner for a full cycle. If you don't have a self cleaning oven, then you probably use the spray and it does work really well. I really wanna get new racks for my stove or my oven. So if you guys know of a place that I can buy like just brand new racks, then let me know in the comments because these are old from the previous homeowner and not really in great shape. I'm trying to get as much use out of this oven and stove as possible without having to go buy a new one. So I'm just trying to make do. Let me know if you guys have suggestions for where I can get new racks down in the comments. always doing laundry in every cleaning video and it's just a great way for me to remind you guys that one load of laundry a day can make a huge difference. I am really bad about this myself and I always save up all of my laundry till the end of the week and then I've got like five loads to do and it's especially time consuming if there's like sheets to wash and towels to wash and I mean the loads of laundry can really add up so try to throw in one load every single day especially those of you with little ones. I know you go through tons of laundry so I hope that this is your daily reminder to just throw a load in and get it done. I told myself that maybe he ain't worth it. Too bad I hate advice. Cause out of sight and out of mind is perfect. It's so hard to decide. kitchen wasn't too dirty on this day. I just wanted to get the counters wiped down and like put away anything in the dishwasher that needed to be put away. I feel like the best kind of cleaning is when you can just do a little touch up here and there. Nothing too crazy. The deep cleaning needed to definitely be done on the oven, but then we're going to move on to the bathroom here in a little bit. I need to do some vacuuming and then I cannot wait to show you guys how my front porch turned out. I want to show you guys like where all we went shopping and tell you kind of like what my thought process was behind behind all of the fall decor, so stay around for that. Yeah, it's almost rather cruel. Oh, I know. He got me good in his pocket. I know that I missed a treat. But the taste is better. Oh, go on. Chewing my bones out when he's done and spitting me out. I just can't help myself. One for the best.
are enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. It helps me out so much. And make sure you're subscribed if you are not already. I would also love to know in the comments what kind of like winter and Christmassy type videos you want to see from me. I'm probably only going to have maybe one more fall video between now and when I start to get ready to decorate for Christmas. I'll start doing some Christmas shop with me videos and different things like that. So let me know what you guys are interested in seeing. I just love Christmas and winter. It's just my favorite time of year in general. So I always love putting out the most content and I will also put together um, like a playlist of all my Christmas videos from last year too because a lot of those videos are starting to get watched again I know some of you are starting to plan like Christmas decor for you know this year and maybe what you want to do for outside decorations but I would love new suggestions for videos if there is something that you're just dying to see So those of you who live in colder states where it's already been fall for like a month now, you guys probably have already done this, but further south where I live, it is just now starting to get cold outside and I'm gonna have to start wearing jackets pretty much every day, especially in the morning on the way to work. And I wanted to make sure that all of my vests and jackets and shawls and anything that I wear as like an outer layer was washed. And this is something that you can do at the beginning of the season or you can do it like at the end of the year before you put your coats away. I think it's better honestly to do it before you wear the coats, like do it in the you know fall before you start to wear them again just because they will get dusty and dirty as they just sit unless you're somebody that puts them away in like space bags or something but I wanted to take all of the hangers off. Jack bought like a bunch of like brand new velvet felty kind of hangers anyway. So I wanted to put some nice new hangers on these coats and then I wanted to get them all washed. His like raincoat was really dirty and then I had several vests that I wear all the time that were really dirty. And so I was just checking the labels on them to see like what I could throw in with other jackets and things like that. But this is just a great tip. If you live in a place where it gets cold, make sure you wash your outerwear too because it's really easy to forget. Talking to the night into the morning building cat mystery. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me Trying to find another way to say this But I think, I think we were meant to be You make me anxious I think I might be stuck on you I love the things you did, you did for me you're dropping clues There's no need to rush So let's just take our time Dropping everything Cause you're stuck on my mind My mind So just sit with me Talking to the night and to the morning Building camp mystery i don't think i ever want to go come closer next to me trying to find another way to say this but i think i think we were meant to be oh we were meant to be oh we were meant to be Now that the vacuuming is all done, the last thing that I wanted to do today was strip the bed sheets and just throw those in the wash. This was a big laundry day and I did not want to film all of the laundry for you guys. That would have been incredibly boring, but I probably did 
at least like five or six loads on this day because I couldn't put all those jackets that I put off took off the hangers I couldn't put them all in together so I was doing like clothes towels bed sheets but this is just something that has to be done and then the next thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna take you guys shopping and show you kind of some of the things I was looking at for the out outside like the porch area Maybe you taste different Hold up, hold up, baby I can sit beside you While you're going on about So the first place that we went was like Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's. We just went around and looked at prices at like a bunch of different places and Home Depot ended up having the best prices on mums and they had a ton of different colors so we ended up getting a couple um, of different colors from here we also were able to find one mum at Walmart that was on clearance so don't always don't forget to check like the clearance section and then I had this idea because I've seen this everywhere to try and use some of these dried corn stalks this year for the first time and I was a little nervous because I wasn't 100% sure how I was going to attach them but I'll explain that when I show you how we put them up and then the mums didn't come in like super cute pots so these ones were super inexpensive I can reuse them and just pop them in and then we were able to find pumpkins at Sam's Club so our Sam's Club had the best price on pumpkins I'm trying to remember how much they were but these are giant pumpkins and I want to say maybe they were six dollars a piece they were a lot more pretty much everywhere that we went and we will end up carving these when we get a little bit closer to Halloween so I think Jack also got a few small pumpkins from like our grocery store and usually you can get those for pretty inexpensive but the first thing I'm just gonna do is swap out the Rees for one that's a little bit more the season Jack was so proud of our new leaf blower that I had to put this clip in here of him blowing off the front porch for me so I could get started on decorating. And we do have a small handheld battery powered leaf blower, but we had to buy the big boy this year because the leaves in the front yard are just ridiculous. If you live in a place where there are lots of trees around you, then I'm sure you can totally relate to that. But I wanted a nice clean slate to start so we just leaf blowed off the area and then I wanted Jack's help to kind of figure out how we were going to attach these corn stalks. So most people that I see use these put them on like columns or railings of a true front porch and since we don't have that we have like a front stoop I still wanted to try and use the corn stalks. So while I was kind of laying out some other things here like the mums and the pumpkins Jack went and got the same command hooks that we used last year to attach the Christmas lights and I will link that video down below in case you're planning ahead for like Christmas decor like outdoor Christmas decor but they make outdoor command strips and little hooks for you to attach Christmas lights and it worked perfectly we could just slip one of the stalks into the hook area and then it held it up perfectly and of course I had to get a little shot of Josie because she was just too precious and loved watching us decorate out here. But I would say the hardest part about putting these corn stalks up was the fact that we didn't have like a, a railing to attach them to. So I was a little bit nervous that they'd blow over. Also, we have a doorbell camera. So it's <laughs> it was a little challenging to try to like tuck these corn stalks so that you could still see if somebody came to the front door. Like we still wanted that security. And then Jack was concerned that if the porch light turned on, it would get hot and catch the corn on fire. But honestly, it's been up for like a week now. So I think we're fine. And it hasn't blown down yet, knock on wood. So I think we're good. But this is the final look. I put the mums in those little pots that I got from Home Depot. And these two pumpkins, the two big ones, are gonna get carved a little closer to Halloween. 
I left the same doormat. I do need to like sweep all that corn stuff off, but I did want to use the same doormat. It works perfect for all of the different seasons. I didn't. I decided not to go with the seasonal one. I will probably put out one for um, Christmas, but I just left this generic one. And then I wanted to get a couple of shots of what it looked like with the door closed so you guys could see with the wreath. I know Josie's cute, but I wanted to show you guys the full effect. Some leaves had already started to fall again. But this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you a lot of motivation to clean and to decorate if you still need to do that. And if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys again really soon with a brand new one. Bye, guys.